Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. So let's get started. So first up, what's on my nails? The blue is this cream gel from Model Ones. It's number 005. And the silver is a combination of these two. I think it's shiny snowflake and stuff. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, first, first Christmas tree. We are doing just a few different lines of green. And it, this happens to be gel polish, but you can use whatever you want. Just make it a little bit thicker, thicker. Put it a little heavier on than you would normally paint your nail so that we can drag through it later. And I am just gonna go ahead and put four lines of green on there. And then in between those lines, I'm gonna put some white. Now, if you really wanted to paint Christmas tree just like that, you could. <laughs> Okay, when I'm done with that, I'm going to take a orange wood stick and just drag it right through there. Drag it right through to a point. See how cute it turns out? I smudged that little bit on the end there. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it without uh, wrecking the whole thing. There you go. All right, the second tree is pretty simple. Um, instead of using straight tape, I just used some zigzag tape. I'm gonna put that down on the nail and just let it hang off over the edge. And then I took some more zigzag tape and made like garland on the tree. And then we're just going to make sure it's all pressed down. Very important because if it's not pressed down, it's not going to work. The polish is just going to leak under there and it's going to be a mess. I'm just paint it. I'm using a jelly polish for this. And make sure you take all the tape off before the polish dries. It's very important. Okay. The third tree is probably a tree you've seen a thousand times too. Pretty much just putting, you're drawing little flicks of color and I like to use a polish that's at least a two coater because then you get like a textured look. And I'm just putting the brush down and kind of flicking it out with a little bit of a curve so that it looks like a tree, looks like tree branches. It's almost the same technique that you'd use to make a feather. But I will go back in later and just put a little bit more texture in the center of the tree. Make it a little bit more opaque. Just give it a little bit more look. So pretty. For the fourth Christmas tree design, I'm just going to use markers. Isn't that pretty? There you go. There's the tree. <laughs> that was terrible. But you could do that if you really wanted to. <laughs> and unfortunately, most of this video, I was completely out of shot. And all I'm doing is taking a little bit of alcohol on my brush. And I had way too much alcohol there, so I wiped some of it off. Put some more sharpie down and just kind of moving that ink around with the brush and the alcohol making it what I wanted just adding a little more ink just 
see how it just kind of flows and gives you texture. Getting rid of some of that one. Pure alcohol on my brush. Just trying to kind of move those lines around. And add a second color to give it a little bit more depth, dimension. And alcohol inks, Sharpie markers with the alcohol it is nice because you can fiddle around with it forever until you like it. Okay, for this next tree, we're going to be using two different gel colors. But you can use acrylic paints or anything else. It's kind of a one-stroke method. So you dip half your brush in the one color and half in the other. And you're going to want to smooth it out on some paper or something just to blend the center color, blend the colors in the center, put it that way. I'm just going to kind of zigzag it up and down a little bit, just reloading my brush there. I'm just going to give it a little zigzag so that the colors kind of blend and it kind of looks like spiky. Starting off the next layer. I'm just kind of continue the same thing up until however many tiers you want your Christmas tree to have. And I think I quit at three here. Then I went back and adjusted a little bit. I wanted my bottom to be a little bit larger, so I just loaded it out. There you go. All right, I like to call this the dot and drag tree. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a dot of paint on one side and drag it over to the next. See, it just kind of flows. As you go up, you want to make them, the dots are the same size the whole way up the tree, but you're just going to want to drag it a little bit less. tell that the ones at the bottom are spreading a little bit more and that's okay because you want the bottom of the tree to look a little bit bigger. There you go. All right for this next one I think I forgot to record me painting. Yep I forgot to hit the record button <laughs> but it's a pretty easy simple you just use straight tape and you're gonna make a triangle on the nail. I say it's easy as I'm struggling to do this. And all I did was I painted it with gel paint and then dumped some glitter on it and froze it. So I'm taking a makeup sponge. This one also I forgot to hit the record button on. And I just used some green paint and sponged it on there a little bit just like I'm doing the white. The white I'm just adding a little bit of snow. It looks terrible. That's well, okay, it's art. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> All right, this next tree is a really easy tree for those of you that don't want to bother with tape. I'm just painting a triangle in the middle of the nail. I'm trying to get it big and opaque. And if you don't really like it, and I'm just you know, you just paint little zigzags on there with the white, and it just really makes it pop and look like it's supposed to. 
I don't know. I just think it makes it look like a nicer. Just another way to make a weird triangle look like a tree. <laughs> All right, for this one I have black gel polish is what we're starting out as. And I'm just kind of painting a tree on there with the little, you know, just another tree design. Fairly easy zigzag up the side, going to a point, and zigzag back down the other side. Fill it all in. You know, with all these trees, you can make them whatever color you want. I just thought, you know, I'd stick with the main green, and you guys can figure out what colors, what themes. Whew, I am doing a number on that tree. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of alcohol on my brush and kind of cleaning up my mess. And now I've got some no white gel top coat. I'm just going to paint it over the entire nail. There it goes. And some green chrome. You just kind of rub that right on there. You can't tell very well by the video, but you can see where that tree is really easily in real life. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking the top coat again and outlining the tree, and then I'm gonna fill that in with top coat so that the gel doesn't go anywhere. Out of shot. Nice. Now all these trees I'm showing you, I didn't I didn't decorate any of them, but glitter, glitter polishes little rhinestones. You can decorate them with just about anything. The sky is the limit, I tell you. Yep. Can you see me? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All top coated. And hear that in the lamp. And I just have a little bit of alcohol on my wipe there. And I'm just wiping that all off. Getting rid of all the extra chrome. On the next tree, I didn't show you struggling me. Struggling me. <laughs> show you me struggling with the tape. But there it is. And this is just the dot of cure tree. The tape kind of helps you keep it in between the lines. It's just very, very simple. You just I have three different colors of polish. You can use more than that if you want. I'm just going to kind of fill in the holes and try and fill in the whole tree. After I got my first layer of colors on there, I decided to go ahead and let that dry for a minute. And then I went in and just filled in little spots that I thought maybe needed a little more color. best way to do the dots is straight up and down. That way you're not going to get any oodles.
and go ahead and take that tape off before the polish dries. See, I had a little bit of leakage there on the one spot the very tip of the tree. But I think it turned out pretty nice. The last one is probably one of the easiest ones. Just going to do a zigzag tree. Fairly self explanatory. If you notice that these zigzags are not perfect, they do not have to be to make it look nice. Just got to kind of give it that triangle feel. And there you go. And that is it. All 12 trees. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If not, well, I hope you just enjoyed it then. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see me again or see more videos from me. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye!